Hey guys, Johnny FRX here. I know it's been a while uh, since I've posted anything, but I am back. And I've got a new project I've been working on. I have all these ESP01s stacked up brand new. And my big problem with them is the fact that they're not breadboard friendly. I'm sure you all have uh, that issue too. And they actually take up a lot of real estate if you ever want to use them in project boxes. But I have come up with a novel way to solder only the four necessary pins to run it um, being the VCC, the chip pull down, GPIO0 and ground as you can see those four pins that are not soldered just yet there on the board I'm going to stitch together a video of a couple steps that I've been using lately and hopefully this will help some of you in your projects so stand by and I'll be back All right, I'm back. Solder job done. Not necessarily the prettiest, but it will function. Now, as you can see, you only need to run a single device, four pins. Your VCC and ground, obviously, and then GPIO zero and uh, chip pull down. And it becomes breadboard friendly in a manner of speaking, in that none of those pins intrude upon each other. If you look, they pass right by each other since there's no pin opposite the stagger any uh, data traffic or power traffic will not be interrupted by the other pins that are currently missing when I return next I will show you how I program this since you do need more or all pins um, to program it there's a little trick that I've successfully used knock on wood and I'll show you that one that's not necessarily pretty either but it does work I'll be back Um, as you can see here now, hopefully, you can see the four pins soldered, and the four pins just kind of wiggled through there, all seated in the yellow seat here on this uh, programmer. This programming rig I got, maybe five bucks, I swear by it, it's the only thing I use to program these ESP01s nowadays. Makes life a hell, heck of a lot easier, pardon my French. If you see the little toggle switch there pulled back in that direction is to program and pushed forward is to run that's all that's to it so I'm gonna pop this guy in and there's our sound that we always know you recognized we'll load up a sketch on this hopefully it'll go relatively fast for you guys you'll see it blink it's programming lights but once again I've used all the different variations of programmers for these and the frustration with the development uh, little dev adapters to make them breadboard happy and it gets annoying and like I said it takes up real estate because they grow exponentially in height and doing it this way really really makes a difference and there you go flashing away so now you just pop that out and you can see breadboard friendly to fit in this guy here the LM117 regulator to run it and what else ever else you need to run off of it and that'll fit in a nice little project box so again hope this helps everyone and have a great weekend any questions please let me know thanks